Hi Kiwi! Alrighty, we are back at Hollow Knight, coming off the, the uh, victory against the Radiance. Took us about 40 minutes to beat her. Um, which seems to be my average time for most new bosses, I would say. But are some kind of difficulty at the very least. The path is open one way or another and end awaits. I won't be joining you in this. This is already what you've said. Alright, so, let's see. Our goal is to... let's head to the left so I can take the stag coach. We'll have to figure out what the fastest way to get to the Royal Waterways in Godhome is, because obviously there's no stag coaches in Godhome. It would be funny if there was. It would be very convenient, too. Um, let's see. Map. Fastest way to get to the junk pit is over here. Uh, hmm. King Station, I guess? Yeah, I think I'll take King Station. Okay. Alright. Which boss do you think I'll fight first? If you've been uh, paying attention, you probably already know. Or do I just go straight for the Pantheons is the real question, I suppose. I might do that. I might actually focus on the Pantheons. But if I was going to fight a single boss for the, uh, for the associated challenges, you knew it was going to be Zote. He's not my boyfriend, though. You can't say these things. I'm not obsessed with him, I just want him dead, and defeated, and gone forever. Would someone who wants a boyfriend say that about their boyfriend? I hope not. That sounds really sad. I mean, I know there are bad relationships. Unfortunately, that is an inevitability with the variance that humanity brings and the conflicting of personality traits. But still... Actually, how do I get here? Yeah, I want to go through the defender's little hub. Whoop! I think I walked... I already went past it. Hold on, back up we go. There it is. Um, actually, let's see if we can visit him one last time and if he says anything new. I hope he's still here. Oh, he's gone. <gasps> he made a little statue of us! We're his friend! Oh, I'm so glad I came back. <laughs> Yay. We're a friend. A shame, I think, canonically, we die if we beat the game, so... Just another one of his friends lost to the ages and time. It's kind of redundant, isn't it? Ages and time. Oh, well. We are the ages of the kingdom. How about that? Uh, so, let's see. I... I'm, I need to head straight to the left and just keep going left the whole while. Okay. I'm honestly not going to even focus on fighting things at this point because there's no benefit to it. All I get is Geo. I don't get any more stats or anything, so... Take the heal here and then confirm that I'm on the right track. I want to go down slightly and then to the left. Oh, poor guy. I guess I can't go directly to the left here. Is there really no, like, shortcut here? Because it feels like I should have unlocked one. Let me just check this wall right here. Is this... Oh, well. There we go. Sure would have been a shame... Wait, this is where Flukmarm is, so... There must be another path that I missed over here somewhere. I think? There we go. Okay, good. Look at me. I'm reading a map. I'm reading a map. I forgot about these charging large boys. Easy to deal with if you do that, though. Oh, dear. Well, I might be getting slightly lost. Alright. It's up and to the left in here. Okay. There it is. I see it above me. Saving my shade. Well, I was gonna save my shade cloak, but he showed up at the wrong time. It's fine. It's honestly fine. We're fine. Because as soon as we go back into the dream, we'll have. We'll get fully healed, right? Presumably. I assume there, there's definitely a bench in God Home, so it really shouldn't matter. We'll just take this to the festival. Oh, there are platforms over here. Alright, hold on. I have found a bit of intrigue that I must 
explore upon briefly. How do we get back up? Oh, those platforms probably just bring you back. Alright, never mind. Alright, Kiwi, here we go. Into the God Home. Where our new challenge is awake. I really did not explore any of this. I just found it and chose... Decided that would be a different time. A tune. Let's see. Oh, okay, so these just open up as soon as I pass them now. I don't even have to look at them. May as well open all of them up. Before we go and challenge these, though, I do want to explore a little bit, maybe? That's locked off, but I wonder if you can open it later. Anything here? No? Okay. What about up here? A bench. A very shiny bench. What do you guys have to say? Seeker of Gods. A tune. You're not actually in the foreground. I can't do anything to you. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. So we've got these three, which I assume are the Pantheons. And then we've got whatever's down here. You look like you're taking a nice cozy bath. Our mind at sea. Our mind AC. There's that door. What about this? It doesn't look like I can get in there yet. There are a lot of orbs. And I imagine these big circles imply the, the, the Pantheons. Let's see what's in here. Okay. These are, this is where all those statues that you fought before are. Eh. Grez mother. Let's do it. This boss was really easy, and I bet it's even easier with the Abyss Shriek now. This was never a challenging boss, and never will be. Pretty sure I can no damage that. Ascended. I don't I don't know if Ascended is the one where I Oh! Oh, okay, so everything does double damage and it's just a harder version of the fight. Got it. It appears the difficulty comes from the platforming and the smaller room perhaps. Other than that, not actually that much more difficult. Boing, 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 swing, boing, boing, boing. Can't be much left of this boss. Do it, I dare you. There we go. That was easy. Not no damage, but I definitely think I can. I wonder if I have to beat all of if there's an achievement for beating all of these. I assume there is. Radiant. Alright, this must be the one that uh will one-shot me if I take any damage, so. Yes, I can now confirm that if I take any damage, I will lose. Still not a great look to lose to the Grez Mother, even on the Radiant difficulty. <laughs> that one, that that loss was pretty sad. Oh, ooh, almost fell into the spikes again. See, the boss isn't difficult; it's the arena. The arena is the only thing that makes any sort of difficulty in this fight. She's, oh, she has a new attack. I, I don't think she dashed. I think she dashed there. She didn't, um... Has she always been able to do that? And I just never had her do the pattern? I'm curious. Regardless, still an easy fight. Yeah, she does have a little dash. It's very cute. I'll have to be mindful of that. <laughs> I'm actually... I'm actually that bad. Alright, I don't want to waste too much time on this. We'll, we'll have a proper uh, visitation to this room at some point. Probably in between the pantheons, I imagine. 
But for now, I want to focus on the Pantheons. We'll do them in order. So this one's the one we unlocked first. Let's see. Bindings. Seek the gods of Nail and Shell. I wonder if this limits what I can have active. Oh, you can't... Can you just not use your Nail? Well, my goal is just to beat these. I'm not going to do anything crazy with challenges just yet. Maybe later. For now, my goal is completion first and foremost. Alright, let's see what's in here. Which bosses do I fight first? Wretch, thou hast ordained thine own destruction. Through stavaker combat, we are attuned to this kingdom's greatest beings. By entering this gate, thou hast challenged the very gods of this kingdom. Dost thou consider thyself the equal of this pantheon of its masters? Dry thy weapon, then, fool of fools, and be damned for thy arrogance. I wonder who says that. Alright, yep, so, Venge Fly King, to start. You're another enemy that's gonna have a really bad time if you get above me. But that's not how this boss works, if I recall. It's really annoying that it just kinda keeps its distance the entire fight. You only get the chance to hit it when it's passing through. It means I should probably soul dive it when I get the chance, but I have to time it right. Yeah, see, it just kinda hovers outside of your range. Oh my goodness, am I really going to have trouble against this of all things? I doubt it. I think part of it is trying to teach you to use your soul attacks, too. It must not have much HP, I imagine. But I think its intent is to teach you to use your soul aggressively. That's why it spawns its little minions. The issue is it mostly hovers out of range. It's up here now. Not sure why it came to me. Maybe I was too far away. Not a difficult boss, just an annoying one because it wastes your time. The music is pretty cool though. You cannot have much left. You're like the first bot one of the first bosses we fight. You don't get to have that much HP. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we're just fighting all of the first bosses, the first wave of bosses. This is fine. Just take heals periodically and we're fine. Okay, you do have a little dash in the original fight too. Good to know. I just, I legitimately don't think I've ever seen that dash up until <laughs> here. Regardless. I don't actually know how many bosses we have to fight in this, so we'll find out. Oh, hello old friend. You are no longer a, oh my goodness, you're so much slower than I remember. Oh, oh, he, he's so slow that it's actually a problem. <laughs> We're just gonna do that. It's been a while since I've had a boss I can just smack with quick nail, so I've actually gotten out of the mindset of using it properly. And thanks to all my chimes fighting their dream nail counterpart, I know that you are susceptible to your own projectiles. There we go. I wonder if that's the defender's armor, honestly. I actually do not remember fighting this boss, to be honest. Where did we even- I assume it's a green path boss, but I, I legitimately just do not remember it at all. Looks like it's big enough that I could probably hit it with a bit streak. Oh wait, it comes from above. I can definitely a bit streak it. If I position accordingly. Oh, I got him in a loop. We win. <laughs> Unfortunate for him. Cute enemy, though. Okay, I do remember him splitting up into the little bit, so I guess I have seen him. I just spent so long. Is this Hornet? This is Hornet. Hi, Hornet. This is Hornet 1, which means he's even easier than usual. Adira! Oh, nope, he got late. That was the wrong move. Should have jumped. Oh, I got two hits on her there. Oh, you can get two hits on her with this. That's easy. All right, we'll heal up though. Should 
This will be made quick work of if we can keep getting the two hits off on the uh, Shaman Soul. Or the, uh, whatever my projectile is called. I, I can't keep the name straight. She should be almost done, though. There we go. Easily peasily. Next up. Uh oh. Okay, so they give you a little chance to regenerate soul and, and hearts here. That's cool. Strictly speaking, unnecessary for, for at least the first Pantheon, I imagine. But I will very much rescind that unnecessary comment come to later ones, I'm sure. Gorb. I remember you, Gorb. I got bad news for you, Gorb. I learned about Abyss Streak. I did not learn how to dodge. You're just like a lesser man's radiance, though, I have to say. I love your sound effects, though. Keep up the good work. Alright, I need to end you because I'm taking far too much damage on you despite my uh, very rude comments to your face. You're probably like one Abyss Streak away from death, though. We're going for it. Yep, there we go. Unfortunately, that means I can't heal, though, so... Hopefully whatever's next will give me plenty of chance. Oh, yeah, I got plenty of chance to heal on you, alright. Hey, bud. Welcome back. The Thunder! I don't actually know if the corner rule works for you, too, but I'm going to function under the assumption it does. Seems to. Your pattern didn't really change since we fought. Oops. I wanted to smack his dung ball and got hit as a punishment for it. Right, we'll take some more heals. This should be an easy place to pick up HP. Sorry, bud, you just star. Ah, I panicked. Oh, thunder! All right, so we're already almost—we've already almost beaten him. Then go ahead and heal. One more, and then we just DPS. And is that it? No, it's not it yet. Can I get multiple hits on you? It doesn't matter, you're already beat. <laughs> Notice that his uh, his defeat explosion is, is his dumb colors. Poor dude must have had some very bad gas. Really? You count as a boss? You don't feel like a boss, you feel like a once-off enemy. A forgettable one at that. I might just be saying that because I really don't like this enemy. The number of times he got in a cheap shot in the Coliseum of Fools, honestly. You can get multiple hits on this, so that's good. Could probably also Abyss Shriek him if I predict his teleport above me. I don't think I can reliably do it, but I can try. This has just become a beam struggle. All right, I'm gonna assume the Soul Master shows up after you. Oh, wait, you're the Soul Master. Oh, hey, Bru this is the boss that I forgot about. Frankly, we'll still forget about. Ah, he wanted to dash through you. I was just a little too slow. Okay. You jump a second time. We'll take the chance to heal. I don't think you can even reach me over here, frankly. Nope, you cannot. Good to know you can just use the uh, soul dash there, or the shade cloak, rather, to just dodge this in place. Ah, I tried to use a bit streak there to get a free hit. Must be almost dead. Whoop. Good try, bud. His little swipe is so cute. It's like, yeah, I don't like you. Go away. Nyeh. Shoot. Shoot. Get out of here. We'll go ahead and do that. Okay. I think that beat him. Yeah, that beat him. So we got a heal. So far, nothing. These are just old bosses. Nothing too challenging. Now I can see why they're. Oh. Who are you? Your helmet, all right. Why hast thou crept into this pantheon, O meager one? The noise of Godseeker, by the way. The noise of thine wriggling creates much discord, drowning out the godly resonances we attune ourselves to. Dost thou mean to thwart our sacred goal? Dost envy drive thou to such madness? We pray that the gods of this kingdom punish thee, obliterate thee, utterly destroy thee. Creep on, meager one, and may God the gods utterly destroy thee. And what do you say if I do this? 
O gods of hollowness, show us your might. We shall attune ourselves to thee and ascend even higher. See you later, bro. Oh. Hey, teacher. Oh, wait, you're a new one, I think. Nail Master Oro. Okay. Guess this is where the real challenge comes from, eh? Oh, hey, he uses the nail arts. We never learned a downward slash, though. Can you teach us? Right, you still only do one damage, so you're not actually that much of a threat. That attack probably does two damage if I had to guess the one where he dashes. Is that it? <gasps> Teacher? Oro and Mato. Alright. Bring it on, the two of you. Oh, look at them. They're all synced up. Sure would be a same if I beat you both. <laughs> I have invulnerability and you don't. Whoop. So far, not a terribly difficult boss. Oh, hey! He used another nail master art. That's cool. Alright, that's one beat. I think they each use different arts, which is kind of cool. Alright, cool. Is there more? You guys don't seem to be disappearing. Good match, my friends. Brotherhood. Complete the Pantheon of the Master. Really? That's it? Done in 10 minutes, 45 seconds. Alright, well... Kinda sad. You know what would be really cool if you ended up fighting Sly after that? Like, you beat, you beat his pupils and then you have to fight Sly. Oh well. Uh, well we're only 20 minutes in, I guess we're gonna go do this one now. Pantheon of the Artist. Seek the God Inspired. Oh, I wonder if this is gonna bring, uh, oh gosh, what's his name? I think it was Shio? I, I don't, I can't keep them straight. I, 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 I know there were three that we encountered and a fourth one that we did not. I'm assuming Oro was the one we hadn't encountered and I think we met Mato. So it's Mato, Shio, I don't remember. Thou most ungrateful of blemishes, the gods in their great mercy allow thee to escape their first pantheon alive, yet still thee think to thine, test thine self against their might. Doom thyself then, that we may resume our focus and ascend our minds even higher. I wonder who's talking to us. Is it the God Seeker up there, or something else? Okay, I remember having some struggles against you, but in the past, I didn't know about the wonders of Abyss Streak. I imagine Abyss Streak makes short work of you, bud. Just need to make sure I gather up enough salt so I can use it. It doesn't matter how many swords you have if you only throw one at a time. Alright, so taking damage does cancel you out of Abyss Streak, so I have to be mindful of that when I'm using it aggressively. But, yeah. Oh, oh no. My original arch nemesis. I can't believe I struggled so much against this bo boss in my first playthrough, though. It's kind of funny. Maybe it's because his, his helmet prevents you from being able to pogo on him. I doubt that's the reason, but it would be funny if that really is the reason. I think my brain just wasn't ready for lasers. That I was just too aggressive and trying to heal at the wrong time, which is also realistically the reason, I think. What an easy boss. I feel so dumb for having struggled against him. <laughs> that said, if you've struggled against him in your own playthrough, don't feel that way. It's just, he's not a, like, as far as my playstyle goes, he's not a boss that I should struggle against. That does not, that's not to invalidate anyone else's ever, anyone else's experience against the boss. Any boss in this game can be difficult in their own right if they don't mash well with your brain. And I have very much proved that against that grim enemy one that one time. I had no excuse to be so bad against him, but there I was, just absolutely getting wrecked. I think I got at least two hits there on the Abyss Streak. This is a free damage. And I remember, I learned from his uh, Dream Nail fight that you can pretty easily, uh, I forget what I was going to say, honestly. Oh, right, you can avoid his projectile by just standing directly underneath him. Oh. I'm going to assume we're going to do his usual little time-wasting thing. He's such a drama queen. Sheesh. One thing I do want to try real quick is... this. Okay, I can damage him through this. I wonder if you can kill him. 
before he finishes the silly pattern if you have enough soul. I'm gonna use this guy to just generate free soul for the next fight just in case I need it. Because he's not very hard to kill. Just a bit of a time waster. But not an actual threat. Alrighty, what do we have next? <clears throat> Alright. Oblobles? Oblobles. Oh, oh no. Yes, group up together like this, please. Yes, free damage. So much damage. That was easy. Oh, hey. I guess we got a uh, Hunter's Journal completion for that. Didn't need to get hit by this. Wow, that went straight for me. I'm kind of impressed. Alright. There shouldn't be much left to this guy's HP. I just have to play it safe. Actually, I'm going to focus on healing while I can. <laughs> Maybe not. Alright, let's just get rid of it. Get out of here. Alright, who's next? Oh, the Mantis Lord, it's cool. I missed you guys. You guys were a fun fight. Very, very good for just practicing mechanics. And very susceptible to nail arts as well as free healing. Maybe after, maybe not after your second phase, or not during your second phase until you take out the other Mantis Lord, but you guys are pretty easy to deal with, honestly. I could definitely no damage this fight without much difficulty. The cool thing about the no damage challenge is I guess it's a really good excuse to use Grubber Flight's Elegy because you're, you're dead anyway if, if you don't get it off. Or, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Ah, I thought I had a charge. Oh, okay. I'm going to charge this up and wait for that. Some good damage. I could have just stood still. I panicked. Nah, getting greedy for the heal. As soon as one is defeated, though, this is a free fight. See, lots of free heals. All right, we'll just heal up here in between. Good fight, you three. I really like them. I like the I, I like the enemies that are honorable in defeat. It is curious how <clears throat> there actually does seem to be some degree of morality to the knight's attacks. Like he doesn't have to kill everyone, and sometimes he and sometimes he chooses not to. I guess Marmu, it's Marmu. Oh god, I forgot how much trouble I had against Marmu. Oh my god, this is gonna be a problem. What was my strategy for dealing with you, Marmu? I forget. Oh my goodness. You're a punishing little fellow, aren't you? I think the strategy was just focus on bouncing him away. But I'm not convinced I can do that. Like, I've taken so much damage against him. Oh my goodness. See, this is what I meant when I when I made the comment against the Crystal Guardian. They're just bosses that don't mesh well with you, and that's okay. Okay. I think that's the boss that did the most damage to me this entire Pantheon. Oh good, Nosk. Another fan favorite. I know you have a uh, sordid history with this one. I'm going to just try and heal as much as I can while I can. Alright, can't do much more after that. Should be able to heal here for free. I remember how much you struggled against this boss, and I can kind of understand why, frankly. Not a fun boss. I wish I could give you some advice for how to beat him more easily, but I cannot. Because I, too, am struggling against him, it seems. I think he's going up against Marmu as one of the bosses that uh, has dealt me the most hits. Maybe? I did not need to jump there. gonna land. There's probably a predictable pattern to where he lands, I'm just not privy to it. 
The main reason I dislike Nosk personally is he's a time waster boss. Bosses that you have to wait for are just not my favorite thing. Ah. Let's heal. I think you can tell where he's gonna fall based on where the last thing is. He kind of follows a pattern for that. Or where the last thing from the ceiling falls, rather. So, like, he'll continue to chase you slightly, so he'll land probably right next to me. Yep, okay. So I think I figured out where he lands at the very least. That doesn't make him easier, necessarily, but at least I can foresee where he's gonna go. Still. So much wasted time on this guy, so he'll land right there. Okay, yeah, I figured that out, at least. Cool. Definitely not one of my favorite bosses. Maybe one day when I'm done with this game entirely and have done all of these challenges, I'll actually go through like a uh, tier list of what bosses I thought were the most fun to fight. Oh, there's water underneath. Unfortunate. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Let's get rid of you as fast as possible. That was actually very fast. I didn't think it was going to be that fast. Okay. Abyss Shriek once again proves to be an extremely powerful enemy. Or, uh, ability, rather. Oh, I have the Defender Crest, bud. You're in, you're rendered in, in, irrelevant in terms of difficulty. This is another boss that I struggled on far more than I should have. Okay, cool. I can get the double hit. It's been so long since I fought this enemy, I've honestly kind of forgotten his patterns. I remember that I can heal for free against these things, though. And now that I have a soul... He gets pushed away too easily. It's a bit of a problem. I can't really combo him. Got the double hit, which is good. Is that it? That's it. Okay. One mask of damage is fine. No soul going into the next fight. It is fine. I generate soul so fast with my, with my, um, nail, or what is it, uh, soul catcher. Hello, sir. Ah, will the gods not relieve us of this troublesome speck? How it tests us, seeing the swarm raise its filthy weapon to the gods. Thou hast luck beyond luck, O speck. The gods of this pantheon, for purpose beyond our understanding, allow you amongst them. Truly, the, the divine punishment they might, m must be planning for you will be beyond all- ugh. Truly, the divine punishment they must be planning for you will be beyond all reckoning. Prepare thyself. Prepare thyself. No, Thou cannot linger here, O coward of cowards. Step forth and receive thine holy punishment. No, and what do you say this time in your mind? O gods of hollowness, show us your might. We shall attune ourselves to thee and ascend even higher. Same thing as before, I believe. Oh, there's my master. Hello, friend. Hey, Shio. Paint master Shio. Okay, so you use projectiles. I, I respect that. That makes you slightly more interesting than your brothers. Oh, okay, you got the reach. Okay, at least that doesn't do too damage. You're definitely more difficult than your brothers, though. Ah, you may actually get me here. All right, I'm gonna generate as much soul as I can and try to heal here. Oh, he his brush changes to orange when he's gonna use that ability. Good to know. I'm gonna go for the third heal and just be a little greedy. I probably would have gotten that if I hadn't mispositioned for the evade. Alright, this is a downward slash. Yeah, so if you pay attention to the color of his brush, you can tell what kind of attack he's going to use. Yeah. I like that the, 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 the paint just stays on the floor as we fight. Ah, I couldn't get away fast enough. Alright, another heal here. I wonder what happens if we, uh... If we beat him, if another like phase happens with, I, I mean, we are fighting all the nail masters here, it seems. So maybe we uh, find, sh maybe we do fight Sly after all. That would be pretty cool. Um, I bet he's going to be difficult. All right, I'm going to try and take a heal here. I probably could have gotten the second heal, but his patterns are pretty well telegraphed by if you just pay attention to the color of his paintbrush. I mean, really, the only one you need to pay attention to is this one because it turns orange. And because the other, his other his body language for the rest of his moves is pretty much the same. If he charges up, he's using the red. If he uh, doesn't, he's using. If he jumps, he's going to do that. Yeah, his patterns aren't too hard to predict, even if you don't pay attention to colors. Up, oh, up! Oh, I 
that was where I needed to jump. I saw it well in advance of what it hit. All right, cool. All right, we beat Shio. Is that it for the Pantheon? Good fight, my teacher. No, I guess that's it. Inspiration. Complete the Pantheon of the Painter. Completed it in 12 minutes and 29 seconds. All right, I mean, we're making good time. If the third Pantheon is anything like this, it'll probably take about 15 minutes, so why don't we go ahead and challenge it? We'll, we'll go ahead and do this one as well. Again, no, no, uh... I don't... Bindings, yeah. No bindings here. Pantheon of the Sage. Seek the god of wealth and power. Okay, yeah, this is... That's definitely sly. Uh, just them saying both sage and wealth. The the final boss of this, is, I'm calling it right now, is going to be sly. And that'll be pretty cool, honestly. Actually, I may have misremembered the first Pantheon. I think... I forget. It was either Oro or Manta, but one of those was the one we fought, and one of those... Or one of those was the one we learned, learned from, and he and the one we learned from mentions his brother. Anyway, lowly brute, blindest of worms, again thee challenge the gods what divine whim has granted thee the strength to endure, endure their presence where no others may stand. Find then, struggle then, and keenly shall we listen for thy destruction. <gasps> Bee puns! Hey, bud, let's go play some ultimate frisbee. <gasps> hey. <gasps> what is what is the queen bee used to to uh take care of her hair? A honeycomb. Uh, oh man, I wasn't ready for this. I should have grabbed your list of puns. Ah, uh, oh kiwi. Well, there's still plenty of opportunity. I forgot how this guy works. Okay. Let me see if I can stagger him, and then we'll uh, worry about. Uh, what else can I say? Um. What's the buzz on all these bee puns? Uh, it's hard to convincingly fight a boss and make puns at the same time, but I can do it. I, I believe in my... I believe in myself. Um, okay, what else? Um, you know, I have to say, you really helped come up with a bunch of bee puns that one morning. Uh, I'm so glad we get to share a hive mind together when it comes to puns especially. <laughs> um, ah, well, I guess that's it for B-Puns. On to the next boss fight. Fungus. Oh, Elder Who. I don't remember you. Oh, okay, I remember you now. I remember who you are. Well, the rest of this episode is inevitably going to be puns, and I should not apologize for it. Just need to save up enough soul to hit him with this, and we'll make very quick work of him. He must be almost dead if he's just switching out to this attack very quickly, but I just want to make sure he's as gone as quick as possible, so I'm going to keep hitting him with a bit shriek. There we go. Whew, all right. Well, if you like it, you should put a ring on it. The, the collector. I remember this guy being fun. Oh, and we don't generate soul on him, but he does spawn things that we can generate soul on, so I just have to remember that. Oh no, his music is dissonant. Take a quick heal here. Uh, he dropped it right on me, unfortunate. It looks like mostly they land where you were, so... I mean, if you're gonna go above me, you're gonna get hit by that. Nah. Right. I don't really get much quarter for healing here. I should not be taking as much damage as I am. But boy, am I. I'll just use my spells. No excuse not to. Oh, okay, you have extended range. Be oh no, I'm almost dead. Alright, I'm going for the heal here. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. I just didn't... I didn't respect his range or his damage or his spawns. Is that it? That's not it, but I'm gonna heal. I need to heal as much as possible here. Ah. I dodged the wrong way. Got a lot of HP. Or at least it feels that way. What a silly boss. Just having the best time of his life. Alright, there we go. Didn't need to struggle against him as much as I did, but boy did I. That's all I get for kill. Alright, what do we got? 
All right, you guys were the the god tamer, the guys that were at the end of the fight of the uh, Colosseum of Fools. Not terribly difficult, I think, but I need to be wary of you, mostly because my HP is in a bad spot. I'll probably get some good hits on you with this because you have such a large hit. Oh, you bounce upwards. Okay. I should try and conserve some of my soul here, though, because I only have so much HP and I need to heal. Ah, shoot. Oh no. I might throw here. I'm gonna have to use my soul for damage. Actually, I can heal here. Ah. I didn't have shade dash. Oh no. Okay. If this hits me, I'm dead. Okay. I got lucky that didn't hit. Oh. Okay. Oop. They must be close, because they're getting more aggressive. They're actually relatively e easy to heal against, aren't they? That's fine. Alright, here comes that. Cool. I wonder if that's infection or not. Alright, I'm going for the heal. Dash through. Get some soul here. Heal up. Alright, yeah, as long as I play a little defensively here, I'm fine. Your attacks are so slow, bud. You cannot have much HP left. Uh oh! What? I didn't know you could bounce like that. Uh oh. Oh gosh. I'm healing here. Ah, it was too slow. Ugh, so close. Alright, I, uh. I did not respect the collector. And I just played poorly in that last fight. With all that said, though, I guess that's where I'm going to end the episode today. Because that challenge will take presumably 15 minutes. Since the first one took 10, the second one took 12, it's creeping upwards. And the bosses get harder, clearly. So, I think with that said, why don't we end that here today? Um, don't think I'm going to change out my charms for anything, because really it's just I need to play better. That's all it boils down to. Um... And so yeah, I guess we beat the first two pantheons of, of God Home, which is really exciting. And I, I'm pretty confident I can beat the third one without too much issue. So with all that said, Kiwi, I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope if, this, if you're awake, this is helping you fall asleep. If you're asleep, I hope you're sleeping well. I love you, Kiwi. I'll see you in the next one.